message because I need your vote for U.S. Senate to send a message. Congress needs to fix this. L.A. politicians lining their own pockets. Three council members arrested by the FBI. The last thing we need is a special interest politician like Karen Bass as mayor. Where to begin? Bass was fined by the state ethics watchdog for taking an undisclosed gift from big oil. But that's not even the worst part. Bass took more than 10 million from sleazy special interests like payday lenders, big pharma, and big polluters. Karen Bass won't clean up LA. Good morning, I'm Eric Spielman in for Frank Buckley. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has entered its 100th day. The combat has been deadly and destructive. However, Ukraine's president insists Russia will not win this war. We'll have the latest. Good morning, everyone. I'm Carlos Herrera, live in Hollywood. COVID cases and hospitalizations are on the rise again in L.A. County. And now, health orders that will bring mask mandates back into action could be in effect soon. I'll tell you when. Coming up. And switching gears, I'm Gene Kang. We're talking about fun and fabulous. We are kicking off the We Hope Pride Parade as well as festivities. And look at this. Team KTLA will be out and about. More on that coming up next. And good morning to you. I'm Lynette Romero in today for Jessica Holmes. Southern California could be in for a really hot summer. So the city of LA has hired a person to help us beat the heat. We'll explain. Good morning, I'm Sam Rubin, brand new here at eight o'clock. It is the Johnny Depp store open for business. You want his brand new album or perhaps souvenirs from the trial? We'll talk about that and a great TV show. Second season of Pea Valley and the terrific Loretta Devine here live to talk all about that series. All right, good morning, everybody. Clouds, fog, haze still across Southern California. And it's going to be a while before the beaches clear out in the coastal areas. But otherwise, things are uh, cooling down, which is good news. 68 Coastal, downtown Los Angeles with a high today of 74 degrees. San Fernando Valley up to 84 degrees. 90 in the high desert, and it will get windy later on this afternoon and this evening. Inland Empire, 88, 78 Orange County Inland. Ginger with all the latest in traffic. Oh, I don't like that. A hot, a hot wind. Ugh, yeah, it's like the heater's on. Hey, you know what? For us, the heat has really been on for us because the 710 freeway continues to be so slow. The connector right to that 91 East. I mean, look, the bridge got clipped, then the big rig ended up tipping, then the load got shifted. Oh, what a mess. There were no reports of injuries, though, so hopefully everyone's okay. This situation continues even with the sweeper train here, so maybe 30 more minutes. We'll see. The sweep for cruise, I should say. But again, we went from 10 to 9 to 8 miles per hour, 210 eastbound side at Del Rosa Avenue. A big rig on its side. Remember, give them that wide berth. And then sometimes they need to take it slow too, right? When the roads are all open like this and you see it, conditions still tough before the crash. And then once you continue farther to the east, it does improve into Highland. We'll watch it because these are our two long playing working signalers. I'll send it back to you, Eric. Ginger, thank you. COVID-related hospitalizations continue to rise in the L.A. County, and if the trend continues, the indoor mask mandate could return. KTLA's Carlos Herrera is live in Hollywood with more. Good morning, Carlos. Good morning, Eric. Health officials say that it is not a matter of if, but when it happens. They are sure this will happen, and now they say it's time for L.A. County to bring back those health orders that protect us all. Continue on the current trajectory, as you can see on this slide, we're likely to move into the CDC high community level within a few weeks towards the end of June, indicating an increased stress on the healthcare system. That eventual shift to the high transmission category would mean a return of indoor mask mandates. It's a here we go again situation for the most populous county here in the U.S. Health officials say the county will move into that category if and when COVID patients in hospital beds tops 10 percent. Right now it's at 2.7, but at the current rate of transmission, we could see that number go up by the official start of summer. LA County is poised to, um, you know, align fully with the CDC uh, recommendation that if a county finds itself at that community, at that high community level, they go ahead and require uh, folks to wear those masks when they're indoors. LA County currently requires masks indoors.